Alright guys, today I wanted to let you guys in a little bit of a secret of what I figured out that I don't think most people realize and I didn't even realize until I started looking into this. So, I've been look I've been using the Razer Kishi controller on my Samsung Galaxy S20 and I'll be making some videos in the next few days on some gameplay on showing Google Stadia on this and xCloud that comes out this week and all that stuff. So you can see how it plays in an S20 and how it plays with the Razer Kishi controller. So make sure you subscribe to this channel to look out for those videos. But today we're here to talk about a really big secret and a, a big tip that I don't think a lot of people talk about and a lot of people don't realize when it comes to using uh, services from the cloud like Google Stadia and stuff on your phone or on wireless devices and your, nesh, uh, your mesh networks at home. So for example, I have uh, Google wi uh, Nest Wi-Fi in my home. I actually got it set up you know, a couple of weeks ago and I whipped out my Galaxy S20 and plugged in my, uh, my Razer uh, Kishi when I was uh, down here playing uh, in the game room and everything was working flawlessly. I was like, wow, my connection is like, you know, I have a, a, a one, I have a fiber line coming into here. So I have, you know, really good speeds, one gig speeds in here. And when I was sitting across the room over here, my router, the main router is right actually behind us. I was like, why aren't these speeds actually working correctly as soon as I left this room and literally walked just up the stairs when I have a mesh network with another router right next to me upstairs and the speeds would drop dramatically. I'm talking about like speeds of like, under 50 megabits per second when I was getting you know 15 times higher down here and I was like this makes no sense at all so I started doing some digging and I found something out so let's go ahead and get into it gaming tech eating brekkie is the gaming tech going for a recce is the gaming tech gaming tech is the gaming tech gaming techie so as I started looking into it I was really confused I was I said the speeds were not the same on both and it made no sense and what I did was I turned the Wi-Fi off on my phone and turned it right back on. And then I ran a speed test again and my speeds would immediately increase basically almost the same speeds that I had as when I was down here sitting right next to the router. And I was like, all right, something is obviously going on that I'm missing here. And as I started doing research on how mesh networks work, it became apparent on what exactly was going on. So a mesh network... When you connect your phone and you're walking by, let's say I turn my phone on right here in this basement right now here with you guys. So that mesh network is now going to connect to your phone to the closest point that it sees, that of being this one right behind us. So if I have my phone right here downstairs and I'm using it and, and playing Stadium, and playing anything else I want to, the speeds are going to be consistent because the router's right behind me. But now I take my phone because it's a wireless device that's always moving. I'm now going to bring it up my stairs and I'm going to go into my living room and I'm going to attempt to play these services again and now my speeds have dramatically dropped. Why? Well, because even though there is a wireless point sitting right next to me upstairs, the phone is not automatically going to switch to that point unless if it thinks the one downstairs is too weak to handle or, you know, loses connection altogether. So it's not going to automatically rotate you between all these mesh networks uh, and in different points in your home. It's going to keep you connected to the one that it deems is strong enough and not going to keep doing because imagine if it did that every time you walked around it would keep bouncing you from point to point and you would always have like you know losing connection or, or losing connectivity if it just kept bouncing you from point to point every time you walked away so it's going to keep the point that is um has has a good connection regardless if it's not the strongest one it's going to keep the original if it's you know good enough so what's happening in my house for example is if I turn my phone on on here, the connection is great. But as soon as I walk out of here and I go upstairs, it's still connected to this one behind me instead of the one next to me. So it's going to be much slower now. And as soon as I turn the Wi-Fi off and turn it back on, now it's going to connect to the one right next to me because now it's, it's researching itself for Wi-Fi. It sees the same point that's right next to me now. And now my connection speeds are, you know, really, really high again. So that is, I think, a tip that a lot of people don't know about with mesh networks. Now, obviously, this doesn't come into play with wireless devices that aren't moving. So, you know, I have a, a TV in the living room that is wireless and it's obviously always going to stay connected to the one in the living room because it's not moving. But when it comes with, uh, like, you know, your Nintendo Switch or your uh, your phone and stuff like that, that's especially using these cloud services that need the highest bandwidth possible or 4K video streaming and stuff like that, as you're moving around your home, something to keep in mind that if you see those connection speeds drop, it's probably connected to a point that is still technically has reliable connection but nowhere near as fast as the one that next that's next to you so the key to this video is turn that wi-fi off for two seconds turn it back on while you're next to that wi-fi point and your speeds will pick right back up that literally solved all my issues when it came to using mesh networks with google stadia with xcloud with nvidia game stream and all these services 
uh, when I was moving up and down the house. I don't think a lot of people talk about this when it comes to using these services, and I think it's really a, a strong recommendation to keep an eye out in your home if this is something you're experiencing because it does work and that is the solution that you guys are going to need to do if you're moving around all the time now like i said if you're using a chromecast on one tv this obviously doesn't apply this is a moving device like your cell phone that keeps bouncing around from different points in your house so if you guys have any questions about anything you guys have uh, heard here today and it helped you guys out leave those comments down below if not thank you guys for watching until next time tech gaming tech is the gaming tech gaming techie Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech, gaming techie.